friends welcome back to another episode of candleman which uh hopefully is okay so we're now we got to chapter 11 we have a little bit more hope now so now we're doing flames defrost the icy snow which is going to be lots of fun hopefully we have hope the little candle has hope we seem to be in water. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? This way? This way. We're going backwards. This very dark level. quickly before this defrosts. Oh, there's one all the way in there. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, can I walk through that water or is it going to kill me? I don't know. Well, that water is certainly going to kill me. Also, a uh, slight cause for concern here is how much is this going to defrost? Okay, it's it, it's fine. Okay, I think it, it doesn't really do anything until I get closer. There's a candle back there, and how am I supposed to get that thing? Oh God, we're going to. Oh, I think I can hop. That's why that flower is there. I think. So this is interesting because as you light these other candles, this both gets easier because you can see and harder because your ice bridges melt as you get close. But can I get in the flower? Yes. Yes, I can get in the flower. Okay, now. There is a candle in there. I'm going to try exactly one more time to get into there. No, I cannot. Oh, I I can take the flower boat. I can take the flower boat. That's how I'm supposed to do it. I just have to be very patient. That's what's supposed to happen. Okay, we can do that. That makes sense. Flower boat. Okay. Flower boat. Let's go this way. And this way. And this way. Uh, this one steers not by light, but just by pushing it. And there we go. Ha ha. Uh, and obviously, I purposely cannot take the flower boat here. I can make that jump, no problem. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know, like it's maybe over this way. There's a candle over here, so I'm going to assume that's correct. The candle. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Okay. I did not realize that candle was in a flower boat. Until I was at a spot where it was not letting me jump anymore. <laughs> okay. But now we know what we're doing a bit more. 
Hopefully we hit that checkpoint soon. Then I will feel better about life. Take the just gonna take this can of boat because uh, honestly that's safer than trying to do the ice right now. What lesson can we learn from this game? If you Okay, so then we can go to both of these candle boats. Which I'm only checking this one mostly because, like, is there a candle anywhere here? But there isn't. So. Okay, let's see, we're trying to go to. What I'm going to take away from this game is when you're a light in the world, when you shine your brightest, no matter how dim or little that light is or seems, you change the world. That warmth grows and spreads to others around you. And little by little, things change. And you might not think your little light can do anything. Sometimes it will seem like other people are bigger, more important, brighter, much like the lighthouse. But A, people aren't always what they seem. And B, that doesn't mean your light is useless. There's a current here, so I'm going to assume this may get a bit harder. Or we're going over a waterfall. Stripe rocks at the bottom. Bring it up. We got to our checkpoint, which is good. So you can have to see the currents and where they flow. But we are stuck right now, so. see a candle up there. It's in a different flower boat. Which is fine because that's where this flower boat stops. We <coughs> This is nice. This is real nice. Gonna kind of try to keep my op eyes open for. Okay. I'm just taking the flower boat because why not? There's another flower boat over there. I see another candle. Do I need that flower boat though? I don't think I need that one. We could take it, but we don't really need it. It's gonna go this way to this flower boat. Give me the flower boat. Um. Oh. That was a tricky one. I'm gonna free this flower boat too. Come on, flower boat. Come with us. Yes. Well, I don't know if I finished this level, if I found all the candles or not. I wasn't really paying attention. Nor do I particularly care. We freed the little flower boats, and I found all the candles I found. Me and this little flower boat candle are headed into this big swirly yellow thing. 
We've done our best. Good job, Candleman. Oh, I did get them all. Flames defrost the icy snow warmed by the light of the candle's glow. Blown river lights without despair. I love this game is like, yes, I got very frustrated. <laughs> oh, look, I've, I'm in my little candle boat with my candle. Which is great. I wonder what would happen if I had taken a different boat. Probably nothing good. Okay, we gotta get to this rock little candle boat. Okay, there's only five of these. We're gonna go right. I don't know why. I don't think it really matters. We probably need to not bump into these thorny bushes, though. I would guess. We're just gonna avoid thorny bushes. If there's anything I've learned from my plan playing video games over the years. Running into prickly things is not good. I mean, that's in real life, too. Just don't touch prickly things. Here we go. I uh, don't see any candles. We're just kind of following the river. Okay. Uh, do we see any candles? No. I just, this is going ever faster. There's our checkpoint candle and another candle. Two other candles, in fact. So we'll go get that and quickly run to over here before that breaks completely. And then we're gonna steal. And you really have to take this candle boat. Though I will miss our little actual candle boat. Going out this way, a little boat. Here we go. Hopefully, we can get the current to play nicely. Oh, this is much harder. I mean, like, we can see where not to go. The, the bushes are lit up. Oh, there's a candle way over here, though. Let's go get that. I see a candle over there also, so I think we need to go kind of in between these if the ice or the candle melts it. Does the candle melt it? Do I have to help melt it? Uh oh. That's not good. Okay, so that's not how I do that. You know, that's our first life on this level, and while it's not ideal, it's not horrid either, so. Okay, so that's what happens when we run into prickly bushes, so just don't. But I don't know that that ice there is going to melt, so I need to try something else, I think. Though, sometimes I think running into it might help. So, I don't know. There may also be a different way further down the path to get to that candle. I don't. It's a risky one, for sure. But yes, don't run into the prickly bushes because they kidnap your boat. Which, I mean, makes sense. And if I don't have a boat, I can't... Oh, God. Okay. I was a little worried about that there. Yeah, 
guess I can do it this way. Then I will have a flower boat. A candle flower boat. Could I have done it the other way is the question. I think so, yes. I think I did a more complicated way than necessary, strictly. I think I would have ended up there if I followed the path. And I may have missed a candle because of that. better than zero chance I did. Oh gosh. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Okay. There's a silly thing. Despite not being as grand as the lighthouse, the little candle brings warmth through the frigid cold, melting away at the frost and ice. The little candle rides the river lantern to the edge of the shore. What is that? Presume it is a flower, but it sort of looks like an onion. Clove garlic. Ooh. Cool. Raising his head, he gazes at the bright light within the mouth of the abyss. Maybe, just maybe, he could finally leave. On River Lights, without despair, the little candle sets out elsewhere. Oh, look at 12. Okay, well, let's do the first one in here, at least. A cavern entrance lies ahead. Okay, so this is... Wow. This is so cool. Do I jump on these? No. What are these for? Do I light them? Oh, I do light them. Okay. I'm gonna move. Oh, I light them and then ride them. Okay, that makes sense. And they put three here because they knew I would have to try to figure it out with what. Now this one. We need to wait for it to come back down, and then we'll need to light it again. Okay, I was like, can I not light them again? And then we need to jump this way. So I do need to get up there somehow, and I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, because I'm pretty sure I cannot. Can I? Can I walk through the bush? I guess we'll try it. I mean, it goes up there, but can I get around this thing? No. How am I supposed to? I guess I can jump off of one of those. Perhaps. No. I'm confused as to how to get to that candle. 
we're just gonna go do this. Okay, I don't want to do that yet. I do think that is neat. No, I do need to do that. How? What? Okay. I don't know the how. Like, am I supposed to jump while this one is up? Like, can I get there from there? No. If I do that, will it just light the candle? That'd be nice. Oh, it does. Okay, I can light the candle using these things. It doesn't just have to be me. Okay. So then we are going to go to the same. I think I can jump down onto the platform, the other candle from up here, or I can fall and have to do this over again. Also an option, falling and having to do this over again. There we go. I think I'm pretty sure if I fall from here. Candle. And now I have to do that again. But hey, even if I run out of light on this playthrough, like this round, we have a lot of the other candles lit. And let's exit. Ah! I'm gonna wait till that one comes down at least. I'll wait till the whole thing comes down. Okay. Okay, this time we are staying up here. as well because I have a theory on how I'm supposed to oh I'm gonna go get that little one too honestly I am pretty sure what needs to happen here is that I need to go all the way up to the top of here before that thing comes down because then I can do that. Oh no. Ah, it's the downside to this. I'm going to wait till it comes down. Then it will at least hopefully be... Oh, well it... Let's say candle at least. Whatever candle is up there, it lit. I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to hop. Oh, two of those. Okay, any of them should be. No! I am trying so hard here. This is a very jumpy jumping puzzle. Yes, I understand that's kind of redundant. Okay, it turns out I pretty the most part can just step off onto this and jumping is probably not what I'm actually supposed to be doing anyway. Cavern entrance lies ahead. I missed one somewhere, but that's okay. Okay.
Okay, I think that has been a lot of progress today. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching, and I love you all so, so much. And remember, you are a light in the world, and you make a difference, and you matter. So keep shining. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed your time here and would like to see more, go ahead and start by hitting that subscribe button. We upload two days a week. On Mondays, it's Michael Monday, and on Saturday, it's Susie Saturday. If you want to see even more, we stream four days a week on our Twitch channel. It's Firebrand with two Fs and two Ds, just like it is here. On Tuesdays, it's Toss Up Tuesdays. Uh, from 8 to 10 Eastern Time, where Michael plays a variety of games. On Friday, it's Friends Friday from 8 to 10 Eastern Time. That's where we get to play games with our community members. Oftentimes, it's Among Us or Jackbox, and it's always a lot of fun. On Saturday, it's Susie Saturday from 8 to 10 Eastern Time, and that's where I get to play a game, oftentimes a story game, but you never know quite what will show up, but it's always a lot of fun, so I hope you can join me then. And Sundays... That's our series Sunday from 2 to 4 Eastern Time, and that's where we play through a longer game, no matter how long it takes. It's always a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. I love you so, so much. If you have the time, do those YouTube things like subscribe, ring the bell. You know the drill. And I will see you next time. Bye.